Hi, Chris Camwell here, and in this video I'd like to talk about how when you're dealing with women and you're trying to get your girlfriend back, your success will always be proportional to your confidence. And this applies to anything in life. It doesn't matter whether you're doing business, you're doing sales, you're dating, or you're trying to get the girl of your dreams, or whatever it is, you're following a passion or a hobby. However confident you are and however much you believe in yourself, that's going to ultimately determine how successful you are and this applies to everything you do. Now I speak from personal experience when I say this, I wasn't born confident. I'm not naturally a confident person. You know you see some kids and they're really confident, they have nurturing parents who support them and they encourage them and my parents loved me but my dad was really difficult and he was very strict and if I did something wrong he'd really shout at me and if I expressed my opinions he'd also shout at me. So this essentially made me nervous to open up and express myself. So I understand where this weakness came from and I was able to overcome it. You really need to understand that anything in life you're going to be scared, you're going to feel a little bit of fear when you're approaching girls, when you're dealing with situations in relationships where you have to pull away from a woman and let her chase you, you're going to feel nervous and you're going to feel anxiety and you need to understand that and you need to embrace that. It's perfectly normal and it's okay to feel that. You really need to keep this in mind if you want to be successful in life. You want to be successful with women and you want to be successful in your relationship and projecting yourself as a high value man. You need to overcome your fears and be confident. Now in life, generally most of our fears just don't come true. We imagine we're going to get murdered or robbed or someone's going to attack us or we're going to lose all our money. We're going to be poor, we can't buy food and we're going to have this miserable life. And we really get scared. I remember my parents felt the same way. My dad, he grew up in a really poor family and he had a really difficult upbringing. He worked really hard to get out of it and he actually overcame it but that fear plagued him for the rest of his life because he remembered when he was a kid it was really difficult for him to get food, his parents were poor, he didn't have enough money to have heating and these were really difficult days in England post World War II. He grew up in a family which was really strict too and it really instilled a lot of fear into him and he always said to me later in life that he wished that he grew up with more confidence because he was plagued by fear and worry his whole life and he never felt comfortable even though he ended up becoming very wealthy my dad worked in oil so he made a lot of money he always had that underlying fear of poverty and he passed that on to me and my brother and my sister not in the same way but he passed on fear in general fear that things can go wrong that people will rip you off that the worst thing will happen and it's not good thinking it's not positive thinking and if you think like that your life is just going to become shit because what you think actually comes true. What we fear in life we attract and that's generally the way it goes. If you embrace something and you think about it all the time then it generally comes true because you're thinking about it and you're steering your thoughts towards this kind of thing. You don't want to be doing that. Think positive, stay confident and project high value and you will actually have an amazing life and you'll be really successful with women. Now I mentioned this, confidence is really key because a lot of guys when they're trying to deal with girls, they're trying to get their girlfriend back, they give the girl too much power and they think, oh she's too special, she's too wonderful, I don't deserve her and they start to basically undermine themselves. You need to start investing in yourself, believe in yourself and be strong and be powerful. This can even be applied to when you're trying to pull back from a girl, let her chase you and you're worrying, is she going to text me? Is she going to call me? Don't worry about it, she will. Women don't forget that easily. A lot of guys worry that she'll forget about you. It's not going to happen. She's just thinking about you in space. Remember, embrace the space because attraction grows in space. Give her time to think about you and to want you. This is key. Be confident in yourself. Believe in yourself. Now, remember this. Fear is also something which is mostly in the mind. It doesn't exist outside of the mind unless you think it's going to happen. It will happen. So think positive, stay confident, stay strong. And I'll speak to you next time. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Go to my website, send me an email. Also, if you'd like to book a consultation with me through Skype or email, I'd love to hear from you and it guarantees that I can get back to you as soon as possible to help you with your relationship problems and how you can re-attract a girl back into your life. You can find a link to book a consultation with me below this video. And if you found this information useful, 
please don't hesitate to send through a small donation. It really just helps me to keep on creating free content for you guys. You can find a donation link below this video too. See you next time.